Hi, hello. My name is Lord. Welcome to a video. My name's not actually Lord. It's Iko, but you can call me whichever one you feel comfortable with. I am fine with both. Well, anyway. Oh boy. Have I got a spicy, spicy, spicy topic for you today. Today's discussion is going to involve topics such as bullying and abuse and that type of thing. And if you're uncomfortable with those subjects, I strongly urge you to click away from this video and go watch something else because, yeah, it's, it's going to be involving some pretty bad topics. Like, not really bad, but, you know, just... just be a little sensitive to something some people are a little bit more sensitive to things so just you know if you are going to stay proceed with caution is what i'm trying to say well anyway um as you may or may not know if any of my amino or disc possibly discord friends are watching you will know that the loud house was one of my first fandoms well, not really my first fandom, but one of the first fandoms I ever got heavily involved in outside of the Ed's World fandom. But even then, I got more involved in the Loud House fandom than I really did the Ed's World fandom. My Ed's World days and Hitalia fandom days were absolutely terrible. I'm still in the Hitalia fandom. I actually joined really late. Um... I'm not really in the in the um, Ed's World fandom anymore. I'm still in the Amino for some reason. There's sentimental value to me, and I can't bring myself to leave the place, even though I. it doesn't interest me like it used to anymore, but it'll still hold a very special place in my heart for being one of the very first fandoms I got involved in. Um, but yeah, the Loud House Amino was... One of, not the first amino I joined, but it quickly became my main amino. The one where I had the most friends, the one where I posted the most things, the one where I had the most followers and the most content, all that kind of shit, you know? Um, and, you know, it's kind of dead now, but you know, this place means a lot to me, and so does the Loud House fandom as a whole. It's been a long time since I've seen since I've seen the show. It's been a while. It's been quite a while. But as I remember, there is a particular ship in the show. It's not in the show, but there's a particular ship in the fandom between two characters who kind of have a will they won't they type of dynamic. And of course, I am talking about Ronnie Ann X Lincoln because I have no fucking clue how to pronounce their ship name. And I can't pronounce their ship name. I've tried and I can't say it. I can't say it. Somebody help me now. Just end me. I can't. I can't. Well, anyway, that, that tangent out of the way. This video is going to be discussing my views and opinions on the Ronnie and X Lincoln ship and why I don't particularly like it. Now, I myself am a multi shipper, a very, very, very obvious multi shipper. I like shipping a lot, I find it fun. But I'm not a crazy insane, if you don't like my ships, go die in a hole, you motherfucking piece of garbage type of shipper. I just do it because I find it fun. And I and it was kind of like, oh, these characters would be cute together. These characters would be cute together. You know, that kind of thing. If you ship this ship, that is completely okay. It makes me uncomfortable to a certain degree, but you know what? You can ship whatever the hell you want to. I'm not here to stop you. As long as you're not hurting anyone or shoving it down other people's throats, who am I to tell you what you can and can't ship? I'm just here to give my opinion on this pairing and why I find it to be 
problematic and why I find it to be uncomfortable. Now, first of all, let's discuss the episode in which Ronnie Ann is first mentioned. I don't remember the name of this episode, but that's not really important because if you know The Loud House and I describe the episode to you, you will know exactly which episode I'm talking about. Hell, I probably don't even have to describe the episode to you for you to know what it is, but it already raises some very, very major red flags out of the gate. Okay? Now, basically, the synopsis of the episode is that Lincoln is being bullied. Bullied. Let me let, 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 let that sink in. He is being bullied by somebody. And we never see this bully in the episode. We don't actually get to see them. All we know is Lincoln talking about said bully and then name dropping the bully later on to his sisters. Now, essentially, the synopsis of the episode is pretty much just shit. Is <laughs> is pretty much just Lincoln's sisters trying to figure out all right who the fuck is bullying our little brother or you know big brother for his other half of his siblings case who who the who the fuck hurt you who's bullying you we're gonna kick his ass and they end up beating up some innocent kid and then lincoln's like oh that's not my bully and they're like who the fuck's your bully then bro and he's like oh it's it's you know it's and turns out big surprise it's, it's a girl by the name of Ronnie Ann. Oh golly, oh gee. And his sister's reaction. I fucking hate their reaction so much. Instead of, you know, actually doing what good older and younger siblings should do and looking out for their brother and trying to, you know, protect him from his bully or, you know, at least try to help him solve the problem, they brush it off as, oh, she just likes you. I hate this trope so much. It's not cute. It's not funny. Can we stop having this be a thing in so many cartoons? Can we stop teaching children that it's okay to harass somebody if you find them conventionally attractive? Can, can, we, can, we, not, can we not do that? Because that, be, that would be really, really nice if we could, like, you know, not teach our kids shit like that, you know? Because, um, it's not, it's not really, uh, not really appropriate, in my opinion, in my, in my honest, honest to God opinion. Can we just, we just not, okay? None of that. Mm -mm, none of that, none of that, none of that. All right. Well, that out of the way. The episode ends, and, you know, he tried to make a move on her. Turns out, she doesn't even like him. Oh my god. She, do she doesn't even like him, or supposedly, she doesn't even like him. Oh boy. Then, maybe an episode, couple episodes later, we learn that Ronnie Ann is apparently Bobby's younger sister. And if you don't know who Bobby is, if you're not really in, 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 if you're not really familiar with Loud House lore, <laughs> what the fuck, or characters, Bobby is basically Lori Lincoln's oldest sister's boyfriend. And 
Lori basically forces Lincoln to go on a date with his bully. And it ends up with them liking each other, but also not really. And they become friends. And it's weird and gross. And I don't like it very much. Now, I can't really explain why it makes me so uncomfortable. But to be completely honest, it wouldn't be that different if Ronnie actually, you know, did something to actually redeem herself. But she never does anything in that episode to redeem herself and only does when it's too late. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. Ronnie Ann, in and of herself, as a character in those early episodes, I actually liked her character. I enjoyed her. I enjoyed the attitude she had, and I enjoyed watching her personality. But the scenarios in which the character was used and what they chose to portray her with, I don't like. If it was handled differently, I feel like I would enjoy this character and this relationship or ship or whatever a whole hell of a lot better. But because of how poorly, in my opinion, that it was handled, I just can't get behind the ship anytime soon. And I mean, hell, to be completely honest... I like how Ronnie Ann's character was before. And if you don't know what I mean, they kind of watered her personality down in later episodes. And now she's kind of just a Hispanic female version of Lincoln. If I'm being completely honest, there's not really much that sets her apart from any generic protagonist anymore. She doesn't really have that spice that she used to have. And they could have kept it without keeping her unlikable. And to be completely honest, I don't even think that Ronnie Ann in and of herself was unlikable to begin with. It was the scenarios and the situations she was put in and the light she was portrayed in that was unlikable. I hope that makes sense. I hope to God that makes sense. Actually, I don't hope to God. I don't believe in God. But technicalities, technicalities. People use it as an expression all the time. What the fuck ever. Anyway. A lot of people will make the argument when it comes to the whole, oh, if they're bullying you, they just like you thing. As, well, you know, well... Well, like, what if, what if they really did? What if, you know, what if they really did like them? It doesn't matter if they liked them or not. That kind of behavior still should not be occurring. It shouldn't be happening. It's not okay. Stop acting like it's okay. Stop making excuses for this kind of behavior when there should be absolutely no excuses for it. I don't care if little Susie actually does have a crush on little fucking Jimmy or whatever the hell. I don't care. That's no reason for her to treat him like garbage. You know, I honestly wonder how people would react to the relationship if the gender roles were reversed. If Lincoln was bullying Ronnie Ann... Because he supposedly liked her. I feel like that would have a much, 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 much different outcome. But I mean, you know, it's whatever. At the end of the day, it's just a cartoon. It's not real. Why am I getting so worked up over fucking moving lines on a screen and, and, and shit and whatnot? I don't know. I mean, I'm really not all that worked up. I'm just voicing my opinion and putting it out there for the public to hear. Oh boy, oh whoop-de-doo, I'm gonna get torn apart because I have a different opinion from someone else.